Hi, this is Jeffrey with Lightbox, and I want to ask you a question. Now, have you ever had a project, so you got a client, they want a website built, and it's supposed to be a simple website. Well, at least a client tells you it's going to be simple. You know, they have an example website, they say they want their website just like this one. You know, they just want a few pages, maybe the home page, about page, a services page, and a contact page, and just want it easy and simple. And then you work on it, a week goes by, you're almost finished, and now the changes come. They start asking for more. They want a new blog now added on there. They start thinking about other things that they could do with the website. Then they might even give you somebody else's website and say they changed their mind, they want the website more like this. Well, this is how my journey started. I went through this on just about every single one of my beginning projects. You know, this is scope creep, classic example of it. And as a creative starting off in freelancing, this is just something that happens in our industry. Now, when I, I uh, was getting scope creeped on, I didn't even know what the term scope creep was. I never even heard of it. You know, I was just so excited and happy to make websites. And when I got, you know, a referral that came to me and, you know, they said, yeah, so-and-so, they said you were really good. We want to work with you. I was just so excited to get that job that I just wanted to, to work on it, you know, and didn't realize there's a whole process before getting that job to prevent this from happening. Now, I've been doing this for a few years now, and I'm really happy to say that I've just about eliminated all scope creep out of my work, that I've developed a process and I learned how to professionally communicate with clients in order to prevent this. And I wanna go ahead and just give you a few quick steps. Later on, we could go a little bit deeper into them, but these, this is my process and how I prevent scope creep from happening. Now, first of all, what it comes down to, it's all about communication. That's what it is. It's professional communication. It's making sure there's a clear understanding. So the first step is going to be the discovery. Now, the discovery, that's the communications that happen with you and your client before the project. That's when you're trying to figure out what the project is all about. Why does a client need this website built? What's wrong with their current website? You know, who are their competitors? What is their goal? What do they want accomplished? So by really taking time to understand the client and their goals and what they want their website to do and what they, they, what they expect, this will really help you get a good understanding and it opens up the communication. Just a quick, simple, uh, a quick, I don't know why I say the word simple, but we could probably cut that part out. Just a quick tip when doing discovery, this will help out a lot. Make sure you have, let me see this over here. Make sure you have one of these, a notebook and a pen. And as you're talking with the client, write down everything that they're saying. Take as many notes as you can as possible. What will happen is when you're writing all those notes and you're in discovery and talking to them, it's going to force you to listen. So that's the most important part in discovery, listening, getting a clear understanding of the client. So step two, this is going to come in your proposal. Now, a proper proposal is going to be drafted out in detail. and You want as much detail in it as you can. Uh, our proposals, um, the way that they're structured is, you know, we have an opening. We briefly talk about the project. We briefly talk about the client goals. Uh, we show our capabilities. And then we go into the SOW. Now, what the SOW is, that's the scope of work. And that's what we're proposing to do for the client. And I get as detailed as possible inside that scope, step by step by step. The next part of it is also I put the time frame for each one of the steps. You know, so our research, you know, our research and uh, discovery phase will be the first week. You know, wireframing, designing, testing, and feedback will be the second week. So as much detail as can go into it. Uh, will help out that way when you send it to the client they go through the proposal it gives them a chance to really go through it and make the changes maybe they'll see something they need to take out or add so you fine-tune it so you get an agreement now the next part and this is you know another crucial step right here is going to be the contract that SOW that was inside your proposal has to also be in the contract very detailed what are the exact deliverables you know, like uh, 
if we're going to build a five page website that is only going to have these three functions it's got to be specifically put in there we're building this page this page this page and this page this you know we're going to have this function in there and then we add inside the contract if anything else needs to be added in there that's totally fine we're just going to have to increase the cost maybe do this on the hourly rate or if it's above 20 hours we're going to have to stop reevaluate the cost you know add the cost in and then you know for us part of our policy is if they want to add or increase it then we pause the work you know then we ask that you know say it's like another thousand dollars you know for they want something big done they'd have to pay that up front then we could go ahead and continue with it and adjust the time frame so but making sure that all that is clear in there detailed as possible you know i let the client know exactly how much it is per hour you know if you want changes or updates say we're going to make a design i let them know okay for this budget right here we're going to be able to design your home page in both desktop and mobile we're going to make two different versions and you get two chances of revisions any other additional revision will be like three hundred dollars you know and that'll be inside the contract so that way we could always go back to it now this is the last step in 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 uh in the communication about the scope with the client now the proposal's out the contract signed they pay the deposit we're good to go with the project i send a quick follow-up email that's just recapping exactly what we're going to do you know i just tell them look we're excited to work with you we we uh you know this is a, a great project we're looking forward to i just want to do a quick recap so we both have the same expectations you know this is what we're going to do again the scope of work and this is the time frame that we're expecting to have everything complete on both of our sites you know and uh then we just wait for that confirmation email and we're good to go so now if something comes up in a project and the client says you know i changed my mind we 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 really want to you know go in a whole different direction it's like that's fine that's no problem at all we're here to make your vision we're here to help your company but it's going to cost you know let's go back to our agreement so our agreement we had this in there so we could go ahead and do this but under these terms so that's it right there um it's it's a journey you know learning how to communicate professionally what a client takes practice it takes experience some catch on to it more than others you know for me um it took a little while it took me probably about two years to really feel you know like i could ask the right questions and really communicate clearly about scope about budget about expectations you know but uh some people catch on way faster but i guarantee you this if you put a process in place like the one i just laid out you will learn a whole lot faster you will avoid a lot more uh, headaches and not just for you but it's also for the client because this helps both of you out well, that's it. I hope you like this. Uh, you know, this is a new channel. So if you can, you know, let me know if this is helpful. If it is, you know, please go ahead and subscribe, like, drop some comments. If there's something you'd like us to review or go over. Just let me know. All right. Thank you. And uh, yeah, cheers.